How's it going guys? It is Golazio here. Welcome back to another FIFA 19 career mode video. Guys, today I am bringing you a video about the playmakers, the holding midfielders, the best central midfielders in FIFA 19 career mode. That's what I'm bringing for you today, guys. Um, but what I'm going to be sharing with you is like the best playmakers, the best attacking midfielders, the best CDMs, the best central mids. They're all coming your way because essentially they dictate the play. If you're going to win the game, majority of the time is down to the midfield, wherever they can orchestrate the strikers to get goals in. And I'm bringing you the best ones from the defensive side to the attacking side as well, guys. If you are new around here, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right now, the big red button. And I just want to say thank you very much for that support. We hit 700 subs a couple of days ago, which is just ridiculously incredible. So thank you very much there. The channel's only been going for two months, which is just awesome. Awesome. But anyway, guys, let's go on into the first player to sign in that central midfielder role. So coming in first, guys, we do have Canning Lee, one of my favorite players actually in FIFA. That's why I feature him quite every so often in these videos. But he does stand out with his agility at 82. He's a free kick taker as well at 81 free kick, actually for a 70 rated player. And he does have a dribbling at around 78. He does have potential of an insane 18 growth of 88. What a player to have in your side in our midfielder role. Coming in next, guys, we do have Phil Fold and doesn't really need that much of an introduction, but he does start off at 73 rate. They're playing for Manchester City with a potential of 88. His agility and balance are both 86, which is absolutely ridiculous for a 73 rated player. He is valued around £8 million, so you are going to be forking out a little bit more money. So you're going to have to be a higher end team to sign him, but definitely a player to worth loaning in in your first season in career mode. Right, guys, coming in next is Kia Carvets. Playing for Bayer Leverkusen in the Bundesliga, starting off at 79 rated, so a lot higher compared to normal that I usually choose. But he is a central attacking midfielder with 88 potential. His dribbling's at 81, ball control at 81, and his short passing and vision around that 82 83 mark. So some very incredible stats here, but you are going to be forking out around 18 million pounds for the player. Right, guys, so coming in next, he is classed as a centre mid on FIFA, but I am bringing you a CDM. This guy is perfect for that CDM role. It is Nombele, and I hope I, hope I pronounced that right. I doubt I did. But he starts off at 79 rated, guys, and he does have four-star skills kind of standout stat there. 88 potential. He is going to cost you around £19 million or so. But to be fair, the 21-year-old is a very fast agility player and does have some really decent defending stats. His standing talent is at 73. His aggression is at 81. His composure is 84. So what I like to do with him is actually put him back in our CDM role, and he essentially... He holds that position really, really well. So definitely a player to check out in your side. Coming in, guys, we do have another attacking midfielder. It is Diop. Starting off at 66 rated with a potential of 87. The AS Monaco player valued at only around £1.5 million. Pounds, has some 92 balance. Absolutely incredible. And of course, he has 82 agility. His sprint speed and acceleration are up in those high 70s as well. Only to be 66 rated. But what an insane potential that was at 80. Seven. Sitting to the theme of central attacking midfielders, guys, it is Angel Gomez. Uh, the 66 rated player starts off with a potential of 87 and a valuation of around 1.4 million pounds. But he does have four star skills, four star weak spot, so very, very good there. But same as the previous player, then Diop, balance and agility are very, very high. He has got decent acceleration, 75, but sprint speed like is explosive. Power is kind of a little low at 69, but definitely a player to check out for that central type midfielder role. So guys, coming in next, we do have Shaparenko, who was originally a centre mid, but I do play him in our CDM role. And the reason for that is because he does have a little bit slow of acceleration and sprint speed, which is only around that 60 mark or so. So that isn't really going to go too high, probably go around 65, 70 when he reaches his high potential. So that's the reason I actually dropped him back a little bit. And he does have some general all-round really good defending stats around that 70 mark, just below for the central midfielder. But definitely a player to check out. He dictates the player's reactions are very good. Balance and short pass in his vision are all in those mid-70s to start off with. So definitely a player to check out on your side. Right, guys, coming in next, of course, he's Welsh. I cannot not feature him. It is Ben Woodburn coming in in our central attack midfielder role, starting off at 68 rated with a very, very good potential of 85. 
I thought I'd let you know he is actually loaned out in the first season to Sheffield United. So you might not be able to sign him straight away depending on how your Karimo save goes. But four star weak foot, three star skills. But this guy does have 82 acceleration, 73 sprint speed, 79 agility and 79 balance. So definitely some actual brilliant all round stats. He was... A left winger last year. So he, he was kind of obsolete a little bit. He didn't really stand out. But now he's in that attack midfielder role. He is definitely standing out there from the crowd. Check him out guys. Ben Woodburn costing you about £1.5 million. Pounds. So I partly put this guy in here because of his name. Gilmore. But his name's Billy. But it starts off at 61 rated with a potential of 84. This is more of a, a general central midfielder player. So we're actually just bang in the middle. And um, if you are playing like a 4-4-2, he does prefer playing on that right-hand side. Or if you are playing uh, three in the midfield, he does like playing on that right-hand side. Same again. But like I mentioned, 84 potential. Costing you only 500k, which is ridiculous. And he does have some great stats to start off with. Standing out, 82 balance, 75 agility. Long passing is at 70, which should be fair. For a 61 rated player, it's not too shabby whatsoever, in my personal opinion. But definitely a player to check out. Very, very cheap. A little higher wage at seven grand compared to some particular players that I've used. Definitely a very, very good player to have in that centre mid. And he's only 17 years old, guys. So you've got him for a very long time. But anyway, guys, they were the best central midfielders that you were inside in FIFA 19 career mode. There were a lot of players which were cams, centre mids, which I play at CDM roles. The reason I didn't put many CDMs in there is because a lot of them, when I've used them, I've not been a fan of. But then I've used centre mids and I put them in a CDM role and they've been absolutely incredible. But you'll be able to see with the likes of uh, uh, Sharperenko, um, they can play in that CDM role as well as like Nobele and stuff. They can drop back and you put them there and they play really well. But definitely guys, players to check out for your career modes. Um, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you do hit that like button. Of course, share it with your friends. But if you do want to see more of uh, career mode videos, like my team videos, and of course the Blackbird Rovers career mode premieres every Monday and Friday, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. But anyway guys, my name is Golazio and uh, guess what? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye guys.